In 2 Samuel 16, David continues the escape from Jerusalem, chronicling David's interactions and also chronicling his son Absalom's underhanded dealings. Of David's interactions, we are introduced to a peculiar character by the name of Shimei, the son of Gera, who is of a family of the house of Saul. That's right, the previous king. Though a large crowd surrounds King David, this does nothing to discourage Shimei from not only slinging insults at David the king, but also slinging stones at all of them. Apparently, even after close to 50 years since the fall of Saul, it was not enough time to cool Shimei's head. In fact, it seems to have had the opposite effect. It also seems that David had enemies everywhere, one in an illegitimate successor, his son, who forcefully routed him out, and now another, a member of the rightfully deposed predecessor of the house of Saul. The clincher in all of this is this. Though David had all the power to destroy Shimei, effectively taking care of the problem now, David stays his hand. Of all the choices present to David, he chooses to humble himself instead. We all have our own personal Shimei's that nag at us and beg us to have solved now, and we have all, in equal manner, have our own personal idea of all the different ways to solve our Shimei issue. Yet let us be found doing just as David did. He sought to see God's hand in the circumstance. He chose to humble himself and waited on God patiently. It's true then and it continues to be true now. God's ways are higher than our ways. God's plan as com compared to ours is, more often than not, difficult. May we be encouraged by what Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15 16 which says, For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are yet without sin. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need.